Hello guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to do a post request using a postman. We are going to see how different kind of post requests like file upload, simple X WW URL encoded files as well as certain kind of JSON payload how you can send them as a post request. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so before jumping into it, I am going to uh, literally give you a concept of what is post request. So if you know about it that uh, there are like multiple STPP methods whereas post is basically used to append a new resource. Uh, for example, for example, uh, you have a uh, client, you have a server, right? You want to create a new user to this database. So example, so what you do is that uh, there is an endpoint who is listening to it and what you can do is that you create if you want to create any kind of new resource you have to use a post request for example if you want to send a particular file then you can use the post request right generally the form submissions all this kind of stuff generally as you are mostly seeing over the internet is a post request right so let's see how it works uh, in in a simple manner right but right now I am in a postman and we have a simple endpoint which basically responds back whenever we send us a particular type of a raw request right so these are like multiple kind of encoding available in a postman to send a particular post request right the simplest one is raw with JSON right uh, probably uh, like 70 80 percent time you are going to send this normal JSON request as a post request to a server where what you are going to do is that you are going to send a particular key value pairs as a JSON format right key JSON format is nothing but a key value pair uh, that you can send to a particular server for example this can be an information for a user and this is actually a kind of a dummy API which basically taking your name and job it's going to return back to you certain kind of uh, results according to your name and job that you have mentioned right so what we are doing is that uh, we are just mentioning the name and job and we are going to send to this endpoint and if you go to this header tab you're going to see a very interesting thing that is the content type the encoding right if uh, if I go to this slide and the most important point is that you have to encode the data that forms the body of the request in some way for example so post whenever we are sending set any kind of post request we have to use certain kind of content type or you can say an encoding right so we are using a content type of application json right now so we are sending a json as you can go to the body type and you see and we are accepting the json response so when I, when i do a send request let me do it in front of you guys and here when i have sent a particular json request is going to reply back with my name job and id and created it so it has replied by us back with certain different more fields related to this user this is a dummy api so it's going to reply back some random data but you get the point right the interest to another important type of post request generally we encounter while we are doing the api testing i have seen is that the next one is the x xww form url encoded so if if you are going to send this request uh, you have to mention in the form of uh, in mention your data where basically your key and value in the form of form right what you can do is that you can similarly send the request with name and job and uh, we are going to send a and b e e and right now as as you seen the content type now is a chain basically we are and it basically telling us that this the data that we are sending now with the encoding is uh, xww form url encoding right if, if we are going to send this it's going to reply reply us back in a json format because we are accepting in a json right and it is mentioned it has mentioned the created 201 as a status code and generally uh, 200 series is basically uh, you can say some something creation part so it has created it 
right so we have a post request right now we have successfully demonstrated a simple post request basically two type i have covered right the most important one which comes under is the form data and basically the kind of file uploads right and if you come to uh, if you come to this postman most of the time you will not see a much uh, detail means much of these uh, details where you can send the files right so what i have done is that uh, what you can do just uh, go to i have prepared a small demo which basically servers response back whenever we send a particular kind of a file uh, it replies back uh, it doesn't reply back it basically shows the what kind of content that you have sent in a simple server right so what what i'm going to do is that this is our endpoint right right now that we are going to send and uh, what we are going to do is that uh, this is the form where you can mention anything and upload a simple file right i'm going to do uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm going to convert this kind of request into my postman right so if you see go to the inspect element and see what kind of details they have so they have a name text file which contains a file one and another file with a file two right so what i have done is that uh, mention the url i have mentioned the url that urls mentioned here in the action part and they are using a post method so we are using a post method right and we are using a form data since this is a form and we are not using xww form url encoded as of now and I, what I, I have done is that i have mentioned the file name of these things right name file file one and file two file one file two and text uh, if you are not seeing this kind of uh, select buttons you can what you can do is that just click on this three dots and tick the content type by default it's hidden you can just click click both of them and all the options will be available to you right now if you go to the headers part uh, right now and just from drop down we are not sending a text we are just sending the files right so we are going to mention change it to file file and this is a text right this is a text we are sending so i'm going to select one file this is a, some random files that i am sending it and uh, we are just uh, mentioning a text as let's say promote okay once again now right and we are going uh, now you are seeing that uh, the content type has changed to form data right if you go to uh, headers it's not changed as of now i am going to click and send and uh, this going to this request is stuck because what exactly going on here is that uh, let me see here this is our response so what whatever the images that we have sent right this uh, server basically prints two images these images are basically encoded so we are not able to see that but here the text field that we have sent right it's promote that message we have sent so we have uh, successfully received the data so the form data the form data that we had with the files one we have successfully imported that request into postman right so this is how the form data with files also how you can convert your files into uh, convert your request post request that you are seeing in particular forms and all into the postman right another thing you can do is that the it is one of the simple simplest thing uh, just uh, make a request for example submit this and right click on it and copy this request as a curl and go to postman click on import paste and paste here right similar options you will get but uh, body part you will not get much of it but you have to enter it manually sometimes sometimes it comes sometimes it doesn't right so you now uh, as you as you are seeing that uh, we are not getting any kind of information so we are going to uh, mention the multi form multi form data now we will have a file option also right so uh, this this was about uh, a simple post request this is a simple request post request that we can do we have done uh, we have covered these three types let me open up my presentation so post request three types are main the first one uh, main the simple ones are raw with the application json as a content type right uh, simple form data request simple x ww uh, form you encoded files these are like very simple ones you have to mention the key value pairs keys are generally the names of the field in of the forms and uh, 
another important one is the form data basically where you can send a particular files we have seen that and the next one are text or plain text or planes are similar one when we are sending this and clicking on this one right we can send some plain text to the server and right now probably it won't deploy back it it won't reply back to us but yeah if there is a server who can listen to this particular request he it reply back to us whatever it is it depends on the server what kind of things they want to do with this data right but we can send a plain text request also right uh similar uh one of the important thing is that x url encoded form encoding is kind of similar uh, whenever we are sending certain kind of query string in the url for example uh, i am sending a certain kind of query request for example this and is equal to different uh, query request like you can see let me see certain query request all right so this this is a get request and here you can see that this is the query request right so we are pa passing the parameters right it's a very similar to this when you, whenever we are sending this but that is just encoded right okay and in multi part we are sending the files right so uh, i have covered like four important points uh, four different kinds of uh, post request that you can do and how you can convert your different kind of uh, different kind of request post request that you are seeing on web pages to directly into your postman right you can use the uh, export as curl method or you can manually convert them using if you know the what are the name fields right so i hope uh, you yeah, i hope you are able to understand this and i, uh, I sincerely uh, urge you guys to just try it out this example and try to upload certain kind of files into the postman and let me know if this works for you and let me know what kind of doubt you have regarding this i am happy to help comment down below and if you like uh, if you like like this video please share it with your friends and family and uh, thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye